Today, I want to share with you the news that uh, Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 is finally released. So that's a bigger leap forward in AI image generation. So I want to like uh, quickly tell you the thing we know about the like online place that you can try, and also I will do a quick uh, like running locally so that you can see uh, what type of GPU it needed. So what what like how much VRAM it used. So let's uh, quickly get started. So the there are uh, several places that you can try it. So there are the clip job. So so here basically you can see some examples and uh, simply you can enter your prompt here you can click generate it will show you the result another place that you can try it is uh, called uh, the dream studio so similarly to clip job but you need to log in uh, they are also like credit based so basically you have like 25 free credit. After that, you need to purchase. Um, all right, so so like similar to the previous stable diffusion, it is uh, open source, so all the code is available on GitHub. So yeah, please uh, take a look at their GitHub repo. There are many, lots of information there. And in terms of of the model downloading, you can go to the Hugging Face homepage for the stability AI. So there are also information there, and then from there you can see it has the files and the versions, which can like include the models. All right. So in terms of running it locally, I will like try the diffusers library which has uh, updated uh, the pipeline for the st st uh, Stable Diffusion XL. So I think uh, it looks uh, quite straightforward. So I will do that. Um, I will uh, use uh, one of AWS EC2 instance. So I have logged into that and uh, uh, activate uh, Python virtual environment. So this instance already have the PyTorch 2 installed. So we, we can um, like install the other dependencies like transformers, diffusers, accelerate, safe tensors, invisibility, uh, invisible watermark. And after that, we can, we can go to our Python there. And uh, I will import uh, right. And uh, load the model. Transfer it uh, to the SCUDA GPU. So this instance have the G GPU with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. So as just shown here, available is about, uh, uh, total is about 22.5 uh, gigabytes. All right, so after that, um, so it will be simply you define your prompt and use the pipeline. If you have used the, the diffusers library before, or if you have uh, seen what I did in my previous uh, tutorial about how to use diffusers, this, this step should be very familiar to you. Uh, I only added a, like a timestamp to the file name, so to make it unique for each generating. All right. Uh, and we can like quickly like uh, run yet. So I just made, made also made a simple 
function to make it easier because otherwise you will need to run line by line. So if I make a, a function, I can only like only need to call the function once to generate the result. Okay, so let's uh, let's try one several example, and let's pay attention to the monitoring um, like a dashboard on the left right side. This this panel here just shows you the result source needed. So currently, it uses about eight gigabytes of VRAM. Okay, let's uh, try it. This will be a 50-step iteration. Okay, let me see. I need to import the daytime. Okay, and uh, try again. Press Enter to start. Okay, yeah. All right, I need to import daytime. Okay. Yeah, we see that the utilization of the GPU is about 99% uh, use about uh, 9 gigabytes of VRAM. The speed is about uh, 3.2 iteration per second. Okay, so let's try try another one. So this time um I will use a longer prompt, but a longer prompt doesn't uh, influence the speed. So, okay, press enter. And you can see right now, the second time, the VRAM shoot up to almost uh, 16 gigabytes. Yeah, let's uh, try a third one. Yeah, that way we can take a average of the speed. And and also usually the first time it takes uh, like a longer time to generate. Yeah, as we can see the second time and the third time are almost at the same speed, which is 3.3. .3 five five iteration per second and the VRAM stays at uh, around uh, a little bit shy of 16 gigabytes so let's try third one Yeah, okay, we will see that uh, uh, it stays at 15 gigabytes and the generating speed is about uh, the same as the second and the third one, 3.36 uh, iteration per second. And uh, and uh, because this is on cloud, you will need to download the image to your local computer to see the output. So I will like show you which I did previously. And uh, here is one of the output. Yeah, I think um, it looks quite nice. Here's uh, another one. There are some variation in the image, but in general, they look uh, pretty similar in the shape. And uh, in terms of several others, there are several others. And I didn't use any negative prompt, like uh, or other settings at all. So I think basically, like uh, similar to like uh, middle journey, I think it, this can be uh, competitive. And uh, here are several more here. Yeah, so this one is uh, I only use the prompt of like a beautiful girl, and we see that the face looks quite nice. 
I can compare the two uh, previous version of stable diffusion, like a stable diffusion base 1.5 or 2.1. And uh, I also tried uh, several others, like uh, pink uh, castle here and uh, several others here, like a construction site, looks uh, beautifully, looks uh, quite uh, amazing. And uh, yeah, these are some, some of the, the example from the clip job. So I think they, they generally looks quite nice. Okay, so let's uh, go back to the diffusers documentation. So in addition to the the base model, it also has a refiner model. So so in here, there's the section for refining the image output. So ba basically, it will able to uh, like a generator better quality image like compared to the base. Yeah, I will leave you to try that. Okay, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy my video today. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Please join the Discord server or leave in the comments. Uh, thank you very much. Goodbye.